Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. Boxer, talking the building, man. Y'all know what time it is, man. The doctor's in the house. Check this out, man. So, <laughs> I'm going to just let y'all watch it, man. I'm going to just let y'all watch it, man. I, lo I love this. Canelo, I just saw another video where you're still talking shit. All you say is, fuck him, fuck that. Oh, he stole from me. Well, obviously, aside from defaming me, why do you look inside your own circle? Because I know for a fact that people are stealing from you. Um, by the way, you lined my pockets, you made Mungia a shitload of money, all because you're afraid of David Benavides. Afraid of David Benavides. What did he say? Afraid of David Benavides. Fuck you. So you see Oscar De La Hoya talking trash, man. He trolling Canelo, man. He's trolling Canelo Alvarez again. You know they be having their war words. They be <laughs> they be going back and forth, man. You know I just think it's I think it's hilarious, man. I love this version of Oscar, man. Uh, you know I'm just so glad that Canelo Alvarez beat Jaime Munguia because because he's definitely losing the trolling game because Oscar's in his trolling bag, man. Oscar De La Hoya, the Golden Boy, is killing him. If he come closer, I'm, I I I fucking. What these? I'm telling you, these trolls are golden, man. But I will say this, though, you know, it's funny because Oscar De La Hoya does have a point. You know, he does have a point in saying that, uh, you know, he's lying in his pockets with money. If you don't like Oscar De La Hoya, you know, fighting this fire hi fighter, Jaime Munguia, you are putting money in his pockets. You know what I'm saying? And the reason why I think that's important is because he said that he doesn't want to fight David Benavidez because he feels like David Benavidez is disrespectful. He don't deserve his time or his money. You know what I'm saying? Because it's it's like a uh, uh, to fight to fight Canelo because he's a cash cow. It's like a reward, right? So if you want to be consistent, he is contradicting himself. You know, it's it's oxy it's an oxymoron that he actually fought Jaime McGee because he doesn't like uh, uh, Oscar De La Hoya, and it's a you know. It's almost like a conflict of interest, if you want to put it like that. However, the part I emphatically disagree with is when Oscar De La Hoya says that Canelo is scared of him or implies that Canelo is scared of uh, David Benavidez. Afraid of David Benavidez. Canelo ain't scared of nobody, man. Old Cinnamon ain't scared of nobody. You know what I'm saying? He better stop that. He's just trying to talk trash and troll, and he's doing a good job because a lot of people do believe that he's scared of David Benavidez. I like El Monstro. You know, El Bandana Rojo, I, I like him a lot. I think he's a great fighter, but Canelo is an all-time great man. And I think they will eventually fight, and if they do fight, I have Canelo. And I have Canelo winning, but I think it's a very, very close fight, almost even a 50-50 fight, you know what I'm saying? But, but to imply that Cinnamon, who's an all-time great, who's been in there with Hall of Famers, had a trilogy with Triple G, moved up to light heavyweight, undisputed champion at 168, uh, champion across multiple divisions, to imply that he's scared of anybody, anybody. I think that's crazy and disingenuous at best, but like I said, Oscar De Hoyes is doing a good job of trolling the man. Yeah. He come closer, I'm, I, I, I fuck him. Hey, yo, what the fuck? I fuck him. Excuse me? I fuck him. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I fuck him. Huh? Nigga, you get So shout out to Oscar De La Hoya. I love this, man. Hope it keeps coming. And yeah, man. <laughs> y'all let me know what y'all think about it in the comments, man. Oscar's killing it right now with the troll game. I appreciate y'all rocking me as always, man. Y'all know what time it is, man. Remember, with God, we can do anything without God. We are nothing. The doctor's out. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.